Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Maggie of maggiesbest.com and I'm back because I was just on here live just a few minutes ago. To, so as I mentioned, um, I was unable to do the tarot oracle reading um, on Tuesday this week, so I'm doing it today. So on Tuesday, I did pull cards on Tuesday, but I didn't have any oracle decks with me. However, I had my phone and I had a nap because there was an app for that. <laughs> Um, this one, this, uh, the app is Archangel Power Tower Cards. So here's the top of it. And then it gives you options of how, if, what you want to do. I don't know if it's still available because I know Doring Virtue is no longer, um, in this, uh, part of the belief system. So she's, she's gone on to, to her other passions. So she's taken a lot of stuff off. So I don't know if the app is still there, but I had it downloaded on my phone already, so I'm good for now. <laughs> um, so I had done uh, just a past, present, future pull. And the first card that came up is the Three of Michael. And it's funny, this is the past card. And it says, release the past. And so I was like, that's perfect. It's already in the past card. Release the past. And this is... The beautiful visuals, of course, as always. It's a little blurry. I don't know if it can get, nope. Well, <laughs> I will, in the comments when I'm done here, I'll, I'll post the actual uh, cards that I pulled just so you can see them. Because you know when you look at cards, it's not always just about the meaning of the card. There's just so much more about what's coming up in your intuition, your soul, your higher self is speaking to you, your guides. So this one is release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds, right? So this is true. And we need to believe that we can move forward. And then we need to do whatever work has to be done in order to do the moving forward part, right? Um, it's important to heal in the moment and when it comes up so that you can then heal and move forward, like, you know, upgrade yourself and not have to keep working on the, and that was a little similar to what I was just mentioning in soul coaching. When you bury your emotions, you build it up. It becomes shadow work that you have to do later, but you can um, process it in the moment, even if it means having to get alone away from certain people. Um, but release what no longer is helping you. So like in, in our soul coaching, we go around the room uh, as one of our things and say, does this uplift me or does this drag my energy down? Does it juice me or does it, you know, not zap my energy, right? And then you get rid of things. This is similar. Maybe this is a part of what you need to do, but it's similar too where you, you can... If something you're remembering is dragging your energy down, it needs to be worked on and worked through so you can re you can release it. You become like a feather and transparent or whatever. Like you, I just saw a vision of a feather, so that's very much so angels. But also, it's release what no longer serves you, but allow yourself to be lighter. So you you've done the work so always when i think about releasing the past and it's about forgiveness too forgiving yourself and other people and then of course hope on opponent comes up i'm sorry please forgive me i love you thank you four phrases so do the four phrases they're magical they're powerful they're simple they're easy and then start to energetically extract what no longer serves you anymore if releasing the past is hard for you, go into meditation and do this in a higher realm. Get into the 5D where magic and energy happens. We can't just do the thing in the 3D. We do also have to do the thing in the spiritual realm. And then sometimes it's vice versa. Some people are doing everything in the spiritual realm, but then they're not doing the physical action. So if you're too much in the, what do we need to do? And things, then get into meditation. Find, and when you do that, you're connecting to source and you're able to be in that place of peace and wisdom and you know when you're there everything is okay but then you can also work on something bring the person's higher self their guides your guides your higher self to the room the situation if it's a person or a situation and then say uh, what you need to say what do you need 
to so they can move on from whatever the situation is from the past and then um, maybe you hear something from their higher self but then you say okay all the guides and higher selves that I called in you stay here I'm gonna go jump on a meditation you stay here until this is resolved right and you thank them and you're filled with gratitude you're peaceful when you wake up magic really happens when you do those kinds of things so give it a shot the next card I pulled is uh, actually let me go back to Archangel Michael three of Michael that was three <laughs> Three is a magical number. Reminds me of Jesus because he is said to resonate at 333, uh, that high, higher fre frequency and vibration. 333 is one of the major synchronicities in my life. 15 uh, is the next card, reduces to six, which in numerology is um, love and duality. It's extra duality. It's two sides of the coin. The... This is the present card, and this is saying you have a decision to make. Archangel Jophiel, and if you can see, I don't know if it's still blurry, but let's see. What the card says is release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to relax, unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So this decision has to be in your highest frame of yourself in mind and vibration, right? Like you and what it feels like is when you're wanting to manifest something and this is the month for manifesting abundance flow prosperity we had um five five right that was may 5th cinco de mayo and that is a powerful like five 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 powerful day to manifest abundance prosperity and whenever we have a taurus full moon it's also wonderful to do that they're great with uh financial prosperity then What's today? May 7th. So in like a week or so. So May like 17th to the 23rd, we have a Pleiadian lineup. Oh yeah, so excited. I love the Pleiadian lineups. Um, so the Pleiadian lineup is, uh, so the seven sisters, the seven stars that we see in the sky, right? Magical, powerful, so good. This lineup is with the sun and the earth and the Pleiades. And that lineup gives you an extra connection to extra assistance and help and a check-in with the Pleiades, right? The Pleiadians. It's a powerful time. We have it twice a year and it always happens right after the portals of the year, which I love and I think is synchronistic too. Um, we had our portal, Beltane, this month. So Beltane was a powerful fiery energy day to create, create, create. May 2nd, do it. If you didn't do it, go online, check I have a meditation for Beltane that I did last year. You can do it that do it now. Ha intend to be there in that space. Um, and five, five. And then do the other five days, like um, anything that adds up to five, like 23 is five, 14 is five <laughs> throughout the month so that you can tune into that energy of the five, right? And uh, manifest. So when you're manifesting, I'm trying to make this quick. When you're manifesting, it's so common to share with your friends, share with everyone, I'm going to do this and this is what I'm working on and I'm going to create. But then there are the naysayers and the people and the negative thinkers and the people that are like, whoa, you need to be in this reality. That's not going to happen. And that's not where you want to be because that's not how to manifest. You will always manifest what you believe. And if you're believing this person or if they have any influence over you about this, it's like, don't share it with those types of people because you want the energy of those who are willing to support you, want to see you happy and want you to be uplifted. So share it with the folks that you know are going to be like, yes, I am with you a thousand percent. And they're not going to be jelly and <laughs> jealous or like, no, you can't have that before I do. Or no, that's not possible because they, uh, they don't know the law of attraction is true. It works and you have to believe it. It takes dedication to manifest. And if you manifest and then you fall out of it, it's like, oh my God, my negative thinking got in the way and I got into mass consciousness. Get into meditation, jump back in, keep doing it and it'll become more and more, more, and more of a habit for you. Um, so, release the past, Archangel Michael. Make the decision to create. Make the decision to not tell people who are gonna be negative about your situation. And if, that's, if you feel like you just don't know, just don't do it. Just use yourself, 
you have your guides. That was the other thing in the first one, but it's also in this one. You have angels and guides and higher beings that are here and they're here to support you and all you have to do is ask and they're guiding you anyway, but when you ask, it becomes even more, more of a powerful guidance and you're listening more. They're like, oh, she's listening. She just asked, I'm gonna really do the thing. But they're here to help you. Tune into them. The energy and frequency of the angels are so powerful and they want to help you, so ask for their assistance. It could be gentle, what they share with you, or it could be huge. Um, a lot of powerful things happen when you have um, that support system, and you do, you just have to believe they're there. So that's how you can manifest as well. So um, the final card is Page of Gabriel. It's energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful are the keywords for this beautiful card. Just wanna give you a minute to see the beautiful card. So for me, Okay, I'll read the, the thing on the bottom if you couldn't read it. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. That's your future card? That's a good one. It's not always going to come up roses like that. <laughs> Rainbows and unicorns are real in my life. Uh, but you, as long, and, and here's when it, let's just say, little caveat, right? When you get a reading, it's your decision to de to make. It's your choice to make. What happens in that very moment in that reading is what's laid out before you. You can decide the next moment, I don't believe that, or maybe the reading was like not what you wanted. No, I don't want that. So you will make the shift and change. Just um, So you made the decision, right? <laughs> In the present, you're making that decision now to manifest, to create, to not share it with the people who are going to be negative, and to also work on your own negative thinking. And now you're moving into the page of Gabriel, who is, this is bringing in, playfulness is get creative, get playful. Know that whatever you feel that's blissful, and happy, joyful, loving, light, it's true, it's real, and it will create changes for you, with you. It's what you're meant to do and be and experience. Follow your bliss is your spiritual compass, as I always say, right? My little tagline. So the energy is here. We're heading into summer next month, and the energy is here. Summer says take action, and the blossoming happens in spring. Summer says take action. Do the thing. So continue. Do, do extra creating right now and make your decisions. Work on that negative thinking. Work on listening to people who are not going to be of your frame of mind. They're not going to help with your manifesting. Believe. And then this energy is coming. You're going to feel this beautiful energy and it could even be a person that comes in that's a wicked extrovert. I'm an introvert, but you, but I don't know if you know this. So you could have someone coming into your life that will be this wicked support system. You know, those people who are just like very bubbly and energetic and yes, and you almost are like, are they for real? But then you're like, I love it. At least I am. I love spiritual cheerleaders like Denise Austin is my favorite guru, favorite exercise person. She's so happy and vibrant. Cassie Ho, blah, Pilates, pop, uh, pop Pilates before that. I was following her when she was still in Boston. Amazing. I love that. So find your support system and work with that energy and then use that energy, that vibrance, that amazing vibrance to create what you want to create. So it's coming and that energy is coming and ride that wave because it's going to really help you manifest. So hopefully this was a really good reading for you for your Friday, not Tuesday, but next week. Get back to uh, a rhythm, I'm sure. Um, have an amazing Friday. Have an amazing rest of your weekend. And if you have any questions, let me know. I will post uh, the pictures of the cards for you in this live um, after we are done. So have an amazing day. Blessed be.